Hello and welcome to Cooking with the Cajun. Today we're cooking rainbow trout sautéed with orange juice and topped with some Italian seasons and some slices of lemon. We purchased our farm raised trout from Main Street Meats in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And the trout was raised at Pickett's Trout Ranch in Dunlap, Tennessee. So we're, we're happy it's a Tennessee product. We're able to spend our money close to home, which we try to do every day. And we have our Tropicana orange juice, came from our local Trenton Ingalls Market. And we have our Dexter Sandy Safe Flexible Bony Knife. The Dexter Sandy Safe knives, they are almost standard for professional cutlery. They're made of a polypropylene. The handle can withstand both high and low temperatures. And the Sandy Safe knives have an impervious blade to handle seal that provides the utmost in sanitary performance. And let's talk about the Dexter blade. The blades are manufactured from proprietary deck steel, which are stain free. They have a high carbon steel content and are individually ground and honed. For me, when I was younger growing up, we sold Dexter Russell filet knives at the grocery store and sold a ton of them. So they're good enough for our fishermen, they're good enough for me. They're made in the USA, they're NSF certified, that means you can have them in a commercial kitchen. And for this video, I'm using the Dexter Sandy Save 6 inch flexible curved boning knife. The blades come with a super sharp long lasting edge and are easy to resharpen when the time comes. So out of the box, this knife is very sharp. As you'll see, it cut right through the lemon with no effort at all. That's awesome. So look below for more information on this awesome knife. I also have a link to their website if you want to read more about it. And I believe the price you'll pay is somewhere in the market of about $26, $27 MSRP, which I think is a great deal. Let's move on to the ingredients. Today we're going to have one whole farm raised rainbow trout, two cups of orange juice with or without pulp, your choice, one lemon. We're going to have two packs of instant grits. We're going to use two tablespoons of coconut sugar to sweeten the grits, one tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of black ground pepper, one tablespoon of seasoning, which I use an Italian seasoning blend to top my trout with before I put it in the oven. And of course, one sharp Dexter knife. And I have to go on the side as 10 or more fresh roasted Brussels sprouts. What we want to do now is clean the fillets up, get them ready to saute them in some orange juice. Hello, Bella. Bella's joining us right now. Bella, you want to say hello? <coughs> Bella's going to take a nap. I really enjoy the Dexter Russell product. They make quality knives. So now we're going to put our fillets in a baking pan. We're going to pour some Tropicana orange juice on top. Just enough to cover the bottom. I don't want to smother them. And I'm going to put them in the refrigerator for about an hour. Let them chill. You'll find that the orange juice puts a sweet taste on the fish. It's not overbearing. So when you put some seasoning on the outside and some lemon, you'll get the seasoning flavor with some sweet and some tangy. It's a real good mix of flavors. Put a little aluminum foil over the top, put them in the refrigerator for about an hour, and you're good to go. Now I'm going to preheat my Emerald Lagasse air fryer to 400 degrees for 15 minutes. 
And then around 13 minutes, I'm going to put the trout fillets in and let them bake for about maybe 10, 11, 12. We're going to look at them. It's gonna, we're going to do it by eye, see how they look, and then pull them out. We don't want them to get well done on the edges. We want them to stay tender and juicy inside so we have good flavor. But well, we took the fish out of the refrigerator. Been a little bit over an hour, and they look good to go. So now we're ready to prep them to put them in the oven. So now we got our basket from our air fryer. We're gonna put it on top of the cutting board and put our fillets in our basket. Using the basket's gonna help cook both sides evenly. Now it's time to cut the lemon. Watch how easy it is to cut through this lemon. As soon as you start cutting, the light just like slides right through it. No effort at all. It's so easy, you need to be careful you don't cut your fingers. Very sharp, durable edge on a Dexter knife. Now it's time for some Italian seasoning over the top. We like to use Mrs. Dash Italian seasoning mix. Now we're ready to bake. Our oven is preheated to 400 degrees. We're about down to 13 minutes, so it's time to put our fish in the oven. And it should be perfect when it hits zero. Look how good that looks. Now it's time to get our grits ready. Two packs of grits, a half a cup to a three quarters of a cup of boiling water. And that should give you a pretty thick consistency bed of grits to put your trout on top of. While we're mixing our grits, we're going to add some organic coconut sugar, give it a little sweet taste and a little brown color. I like to use Quaker grits. If you notice, I keep adding the grits slowly to keep incorporating them into the water. Now it's time to add some Madaba organic coconut sugar. About a tablespoonful. And mix away.
Look at that, how good it looks. Nice, sweet grits. So we're going to put our bed of grits on our plate. Prepare it for our nice rainbow trout. It's going to come out the oven. Doesn't that look good? Look how good the fish look. They come out real good. They're not overcooked. They're moist. They look real good over a bed of grits. Get some Brussels sprouts. And we got dinner. I couldn't make up on my mind if I wanted to cut the Brussels sprouts in half or just put them on a plate whole. I think I cut the first one or two in half and I said, nah, I'm going to just get them whole. They're small enough. And there we have dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Rainbow trout over a bed of grits surrounded by Brussels sprouts. I call that a good hearty dinner. It's healthy and good. Well, we appreciate y'all joining us. Hope y'all have a great day. Until next time. Thank you, folks.